Kyle Arrington. Hey, Kyle, welcome. How are you today? I'm doing great. How about yourself? We are doing well, Kyle. Now, Kyle, are you like uh, Kirk Morrison over here? <laughs> I mean, he's all into the Derby. He's into the Mayweather uh -huh. fight tonight. Uh -huh. Are you into all uh -huh. this stuff, Kyle? Uh. I'm into the fight, definitely, but everybody's a Mayweather fan. Uh, well, if you love him, you hate him, so either or. But uh, also, basketball's going on, so I can't, I'm can't. i not really a huge Derby fan, so I couldn't say too much of what's going on on that end. But uh, I, I will be watching the playoffs in the Mayweather fight. Now, by the way, you would be a much bigger fan, Kyle, if you actually went to the Derby with Kirk Morrison. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm yeah, telling definitely, you, he'll, definitely. he'll tell you how to dress, how to hang. <laughs> exactly. I'm OG. is exactly. different, man. I heard, I heard he's a man. <laughs> Hey, Kyle, uh, last night, um, you know, the, the sort of the hometown team right there in front of you, the, the Boston Celtics, they were taken down uh, to the New York Knicks. Were, did you, uh, were you able to attend? And, and, and what sort of has transpired in that area ever since the, you know, the attacks of a couple weeks ago by the, uh, the bombings of the Boston Marathon? Uh, well, you know, it was definitely a valiant effort on their part as far as uh, an almost, you know, comeback attempt. And, uh, you know, you just see them playing their hearts off for the city. And uh, just for the pride of Boston. And like you said, man, it was just a, a tragic situation that happened the other week. And, uh, you know, we're just here to um, spread awareness and help fundraise for, you know, the, the, city, uh, the city of Boston, the people, the, uh, the families and the victims. Yeah, you know, Kyle, uh, obviously, and, the, and what the Knicks did, you know, wearing the black at home for the Boston funeral, are these just complete morons? I mean, seriously. I mean, <laughs> talk about lack of sensitivity. And and as you mentioned, uh, Kirk, where are the where are the veterans? I mean, I I can't imagine the New England Patriots partaking Brady, in Brady, that kind of yeah. stuff. I mean, you know, that's high school stuff. Did, did that irritate you as much as it did us? Uh, well, you know, it's <laughs> there's no love lost uh, between that Boston and uh, New York rivalry. So that's nothing. You know, nothing is really a surprise at this point. So Kyle, I mean, I, uh, I really want to know this. This is, uh, it's, it's come out in the last couple of weeks. It's sort of died down, but mm -hmm. you have to let me know. There was a certain free agent pickup by the New England Patriots this year, a yep. number twenty-four, Adrian <laughs> Wilson. There's uh -huh. also a number right. twenty-four for the New England Patri Patriots. His That's name is correct. Kyle Arrington. Yes, who is the uh, incumbent? <laughs> <laughs> so. What has been said? What has been discussed? <laughs> are you going to give up the number? Are you going to keep it? What has Adrian said? See, this is news to me mm. because I always want to know because we have a guy who, and Kyle, you, you're a very established starter. You, have, you uh, Your career has been off to a great start. But now you have a guy who's been, you know, has, has got some years on you. has got some, you know, some Pro Bowls and all pros on you. <laughs> how, how will you guys settle the number situation? I mean... <laughs> he, you know, <laughs> yeah, like you said, though, he's a uh, very established veteran, um, all the accolades in the world, you know, you name them. Uh, so much, that definitely can't uh, say enough good things about Adrian. And just the time, short time I've got to, uh, you know, hang with him, work out with him. You know, he's one of the most genuine people I think I'll ever meet. So, uh, like like I said, uh, Will, Maybe, maybe you know, if he comes over and offers the baby, I know he offered the pampers. And, uh, yeah, I heard things, about that. So, he, uh, he, maybe, maybe he <laughs> come over, over himself and baby sits. Uh, that might be a good call. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see. We'll see what we can work out. That's right. Well, you have the new son. Uh, obviously, very exciting there. Uh, I mean, let's let's not underplay uh, the fact that Kyle led the league in interceptions exactly. a couple of years He's ago. Had a great career. Go that on. is that is true. So I mean, he has yeah. that on his resume. But Kyle, let me ask you about the current mindset with the Patriots. Congratulations on the new uh, deal there. Um, Thank you. They're, 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 they they got to get a little anxious. I mean, with all the greatness of the Patriots, because the Patriots obviously are in the playoffs every single year. Believe it or not, we're going on nine years mm -hmm. since the last mm -hmm. time that the Patriots actually won a Super Bowl. Uh, what's been the mood? You've been there for the last few years. What, what's the mood right now? They getting a little anxious about winning another championship. Uh, well, you know, the mindset is always just, you know, cross bridges when we get there. So, you know, the, the mindset right now is definitely just try to get better and uh, maximize the opportunity we have right now. You know, the all-season program just started a month long ago. Um, guys, you know, just coming in, working, uh, getting, you know, bigger, stronger, faster. You know, that's the goal. And, uh, you know, as much camaraderie we, we, we can uh, get in in the meantime. Yeah, Kyle, I, I had to, uh, 
you know, I'm, you know, playing for the Buffalo Bills the last couple of seasons, going up against you guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, trust me, uh, uh. you know, I hate it. I hate going up. It's Patriot Week, but I hate it uh, every single year. But one thing I've noticed is that Bill Belichick, he's probably one of the best coaches in, in, in the NFL. Uh, maybe you got to put him up there in NFL history. What makes him so effective to, to get to you guys, to make you guys play at such a high level? I know what Tom Brady means to the team, but – he gets guys, you know, such as yourself, you know, coming from a small school in Hofstra. In Hofstra uh-huh. Nobody really knows too much about you. You come to the NFL, play for the Patriots, and you become a superstar and all pro. A pro Bowl oh, you're winning. too kind. You're too kind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, it's just a, a tremendous staff, you know, and place, tremendous organization, you know, first and foremost, uh, from top to the bottom. And, you know, I think our scouts are – GM, you know, player director, player personnel, you know, all, all the above. They do a, a tremendous job of, you know, bringing guys in who, you know, just fits, fits their system. You know, every team is different, and um, you know, it's different things. You know, uh, teams is looking for. So I think they, they they just do a great job of bringing guys and high character guys as well, and uh, bringing them in. And then, you know, just it's, it's easy to buy into the uh, Patriots system. All right, well, Kyle, hey, it's great to catch up with you. We wish you all the best. Counting down to training camp. All the best to you and the Patriots next season, Kyle. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. And I'm sorry I didn't uh, get the plug. The, w- the website is actually onefunboston.org, where where you uh, anyone can help out. You know, just from whatever's from the heart. You know, any- anything helps. You got that. Onefunboston.org. Kyle, thanks so much. Thank you. All right, that's Kyle Arrington joining us there on the Progressive Insurance Celebrity Hotline and. I just like the fact that all these athletes in the city of Boston are really stepping you up. Yeah, Boston's strong, truly. You know, and uh, it, it really is. Uh, that's why I go back to that Nick shenanigans. You yeah, know. I told you, man. A Boston yeah. funeral, the really? Leaders, the leaders. You got to be strong. Jason Kidd. All right. I bet you they won't be wearing black when they get down to I cannot Southeast. believe Orb won the Derby. <laughs> <laughs> with all that we did with the favorites, never win the Derby, and Orb wins in the mud. Unlike Skip Bayless, we do 